This is going to be a little bit longer coding exercise than normal and we're going to be building out an entire class and an entire module and getting them to work together. So what exactly are we going to build? Well, right here we can see in our description that we are going to build a tax helper that calculates the correct tax amount if the source is online or if it's Arizona. And don't let that confuse you. I know there needs to be some additional background information. And in the show notes, I do describe it in quite a bit of detail. Now, if you come down to the other test, it ensures that an invoice helper module has been included in the class. And don't let this type of code confuse you or intimidate you. Right here, all I'm doing is I built a test to ensure that at some spot in the class, inside of the sale class, that we are going to include a module called invoice helper. That's all the test is looking to do. So what exactly do we need to build? Well, we need to build a sale class. You can see right here in both tests that we're instantiating a sale class, storing it in the variable S, and we're passing in two items. This first item is going to be the total, and then the next argument here is going to be the source or the location. And if you read the description or you come right up here, you can see that the source, if it's online or if it's a Z, this is going to make it taxable. And in the description, I also go into what percent tax it's going to be a 6% tax that needs to be added. So right here, if you see there needs to be a place order method inside of the sale class. And if because we did a source that was Arizona, the sales tax needs to be added on. So in the case of $500, it's going to be 530 once it has tax added. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a class that can take and generate a sale. And then also, instead of building the tax conditional inside of the sale class, we're actually just going to create a helper module, include it inside the class, and then we can call it just as if we created another method inside of it. So a huge point of this one is to work with object-oriented programming in Ruby, but also to work through clean coding practices. So instead of building all of your logic into a single class, we're going to separate it out and build other modules that can help it. So I'm going to create a module. It needs to be called invoice helper in order for all the uh, all the tests to pass. And for right now, I'm just going to leave it blank. But we're eventually going to add a taxable method inside of it. Now let's build the class. So I'm going to say class sale. And now let's create some initializers. So I'm going to say initialize a total and a source. And if you come down here, you can see that it's expecting two arguments. The first is the total, and the second argument is the source. And inside of this, we're going to make these values available. So I'm going to say total and source. And that is our first item. Now, we also need the ability to place an order. And so that is going to be called place order. It's not going to take any arguments. And for right now, let's just have it return the total. Eventually, it's going to also return the total plus the taxable amount. But for right now, let's just make sure that this is working. So I'm going to say s equals sale.new and we'll say three, you know, let's just say 300 and TX for Texas and then S dot place order. If I save this, this should just print out 300. And there we go, that works. So we know that our class is working properly and it has access to all of the right data. Now let's talk about what we need to do to get it actually working with the module and how we need to build a taxable class. So right here, I have total, and what we really need is for it to be total plus the total times 
0.06. And so that is going to be what the value is if it's taxable. Now, if I save this, and now if I run this code, we should get 300 plus 6%, which we do. So you have a total of 318. But we don't want this running all the time. In fact, we only want it when the source is online or it's Arizona. And that's where our invoice helper is going to come in handy. I'm going to create a method here called taxable question mark. So this is going to return either true or false. And it's going to take one argument of what the source is. So it's going to, and here we're going to say if the source is equal to online or if the source is equal to AZ, then we want it to return true and else we want it to return false. And that's all we have to do here. And this could also be refactored. You could eventually just get this on one line. For right now, I care more about the module inclusion and uh, that's kind of the focus of it. So here, how we can get access, because what we need is inside of our sale class, we need the ability to call this method. And we don't want to put this taxable method inside of the sale class because then we'd be breaking the single responsibility principle because you don't want a sale that can, a sale class that can process orders and check for taxes. Instead, what we want is to simply include this functionality inside of the class. And the way we can do that is by saying include invoice helper. And whenever we do this, whenever we can include a module, now we can bring in any of those methods. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to return the total plus, and I'm going to put some parentheses just to make it a little bit more logical so and easier to group all of these calculations. So I'm going to say return the total plus the total plus the uh, it, times the taxable amount. And I want to do that if taxable question mark source. So what we're doing here is we're calling the method taxable and we're passing the source value. And we have access to the source value because in line 18, we're storing it inside this instance variable. So all we're saying is if the source is Arizona or if it's online, return the total plus the tax on top of it. And if not, just return the total by itself. So now if we run this, it should be 300 and that's working perfectly and the reason why it's 300 is because we did the source as Texas switching it to Arizona and if we run this now it's going to be 318 so that is working perfectly let me save this and I'm going to open up another Tmux pane and run the tests for March 6, just to make sure all of our tests are working. And they are, you can see we have two examples with zero failures, which means that our tax calculations are working when the location or the source is set properly. And then also it's verifying that the invoice helper module is being called. And that's really the point of this entire exercise is learning how to organize code and how to call modules from within classes to extend a class's functionality without cluttering up and turning a class into a nasty bit of spaghetti code.